Oh, oh my gosh. I never thought today was gonna come. This is more of a show and brag episode. Something I've been searching for for the last nine years. Yeah, nine years. Finally happened, found it, found it. Woo, let's dive in. What? I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Any longtime viewer of the channel will know I love props. I love replicas, but I also love the real thing. As you guys can see, I have a few sitting right here. These are real products that were made, but they were also kind of made famous in TV shows or movies. Most notably this one, used in Back to the Future, uh, the first one, or part one, but it was also used in one of my favorite TV shows of all time, that is Stranger Things. Uh, it was used in season two, yes. Season two, <laughs> this was Bob's camera. But I just like collecting the real things and especially if they still work. Uh, this is a walkie talkie also from Stranger Things. This is the exact model that the kids use, uh, but this unfortunately doesn't work. The Walkman, this is WM8, 8, WM8. Yeah, this is the Walkman that Max uses in Stranger Things. This is what saves her from Vecna. Oh, even though this is technically the Canada version of the Walkman, it has a little maple leaf. I have a little figure that stands and blocks it <laughs> in my display case, so. I just need the door though. Anyone have a door with the right one? Let me know. I also have this. This right here is super uber duper special to me. This is the Microsoft Zune. One of my favorite movies of the last 10 years or so is Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that movie. I loved all three of them. In the second one, Star-Lord gets a Zoom for replacement of his Walkman that gets destroyed. But the reason it's also special to me is this was actually mine. I bought this in 2007. Even though it's the wrong color, I'm aware they use the brown one. And I remember debating on which one I should get, the black one or the brown one. I'm like, who wants the brown one? I regret that decision. But we're not here to talk about these. Oh, no, no. We're here to talk about my holy grail, the thing I've been after for the last nine years. This is actually, um, unfortunately, a replica. <sighs> yeah. I use this for my costume, just a resin cast that I got from somebody years and years ago. And then I found, which was actually given to me as a gift, this is a power bank. And honestly, outside of it being the Walkman, it's awesome. It, this thing is phenomenal. This is one of my go-to power banks. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I think you can still get them, but it isn't the real one. One of these days, but I won't have to wait too long. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes, this right here is the real deal. This is the real McCoy, the Walkman from Guardians of the Galaxy. The actual one, I'm not fooling you. Uh, this is legitimately a Walkman. This is real and look, the condition is phenomenal. However, it doesn't work. Uh, it powers on, the microphone actually works. Um, I think it does work, but I'm hoping it's the band issue on the inside that just doesn't work. I'm gonna be looking into getting it replaced. But it gave me an idea. Since everything kind of works, there is a little piece of modern tech that could technically get this operational in a weird kind of way. And that's what this thing, it looks like a cassette tape, but it's not. This is a Bluetooth cassette tape. You just turn it on, put it in any sort of cassette player and it will turn that device into a Bluetooth receiver in a sense. So if I put this in here, I mean, I haven't tested this, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Headphones, which I just bought. These are replicas of the ones from Guardians of the Galaxy and they are a a factory error. This thing is not supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be flipped. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that, but I'm gonna use them because they're the closest thing to the real thing. And in theory, if I grab my phone and I go into the Bluetooth, it should, this should technically be a source now. It totally works. It's really bad quality though. I think it's the device because I used it in my car and it didn't sound very good. All right, before I get copyrighted, it totally works, but not very well. But hey, that's a win. I can say I've listened to this Walkman now. 
These have dropped in price, I will say, over the last couple of years. When they first released the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, this thing, as far as I've heard, I don't know firsthand research, but from people I've talked to, this thing wasn't worth that much money, like 50 bucks maybe. Um, but once that movie dropped, immediately into the thousands of dollars for one of these, and then of course the hype dropped. And they've been leveling off for the last couple of years, and I've had my eye on them for a while, but I just haven't pulled the trigger because I haven't found one that I've liked. I wanted to get one in a really good condition, and finding one in good condition, even in non-working condition, uh, will fetch a pretty high price tag, uh, about $350, $400, sometimes even more. I've seen them go for like $600 uh, and they don't work. There's only a little bit of a scratch um, right here in the corner and that is it. Everything else is pretty, pretty spectacular. I only have this actually because of Alex. <laughs> Thanks to Alex, she was asking about this Game Boy, which I was getting get. <laughs> And then he pulls this out. At least that's how I saw it go. How'd it go? How'd he, it happen? Uh, he asked if I, because uh, I told him that I fix old Game Boys up, and he's like, I got an old, uh, old one in the back, but he never could find it. And he pulled out this. It's like you fix old stuff, maybe you got fix this. And I'm like, you gotta give Chris a chance to buy it before I do. You damn right. But you still got the Game Boy for I did, twenty bucks. I did offer him twenty bucks on the Game Boy. It needs new speaker, but that's common. <laughs> Coincidentally, uh, she has one for uh, for herself and I've been wanting it for a long time. Uh, she found hers for a dollar. Tell story the story. About where you got it. Okay, let me take it out of here. Uh, we found it at Rica Flea, Flea, Flea Market, in yeah. Six Flags parking lot. Yeah, in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Six Flags, Missouri. I go in there and I see this, flip it over, and like, oh, it's a Walkman, that's cool. Caleb looks down and he's like, oh, I think these are the headphones. Uh, what do we do for this this cassette player? She's like, a, a dollar, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'll just take that. I didn't know anything about it, I was like, Kind of looks like the one off of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Got home, it was the exact same model. I'm really jealous. But yeah, that's that's my one dollar Walkman find. Uh, it beats my twenty dollar find <laughs> by a long shot. This one's actually in much better condition than hers. I know she kind of wanted it, so thank you so much, Alex. But for all you wanted to know, how much I ended up paying for this, I paid two hundred dollars. Yeah, for a non-working Walkman. I am I know, but I do plan on getting this fixed. I'm watching some videos on seeing about how to do it myself. Doesn't look too hard if it's the bands that's the problem. If it's not the bands, then I have no idea um, what to do from there. Uh, and so I'll have to figure something out. I know this video is a little bit different than you probably used to. I just thought I'd share a little bit of something that I find really cool and unique. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what type of things you're passionate about. Do you collect props and replicas or what? I don't know, let me know. Leave some comments down below. Let's chat about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some more. Now we just have to find a brown zoom.